doing in the pillow here, for example, is based on theoretical physics. It's about relativity, quantum mechanics, and string theory. These are, you know, relativity, which Einstein, which talks about the macro part of the universe, subtle, you know, um, planets, galaxies, and Einstein felt that the universe was a predictable, serene place. Great forces and great tensions, but fundamentally predictable and serene. Then along comes quantum mechanics, and it says the exact opposite. It talks about the micro. Everything is haphazard, chaotic, totally unpredictable, frenetic, just a, a, a kind of a riotous, unfathomable sort of not almost nonsense like that's how the universe operates. So you see, these two pillars of physics have been the two dominant ways of understanding the universe in the 20th century. Total opposite ideas, total opposite philosophies. So along comes string theory, a new theory that puts the two together and basically it says that the fundamental particle of matter is probably a vibrating string. So that everything is held together by vibration. So it's almost like the world is a gigantic, uh, harmonious, celestial orchestra. You'll like that. I'm liking it. <laughs> and, and so, and in this way of understanding the universe, order emerges from disorder. So what I did to make movement, so for me this is both, a, a, you know, it's using science, but it's also a very philosophical piece. You know, how does the universe operate? So it's, it's me asking questions like that. And I was also asking a, a dance question. Okay, what can I use from the principles of relativity to create movement? Einstein said, gravity is the warping and twisting of space-time fabric. So I made all the movement based on twisting and warping. Quantum mechanics, everything is off balance, precarious, frenetic, so everything's off balance. There are lots of interruptions, it's disjointed. So it's just, you know, this very other kind of energy. Then string theory, order emerging from disorder. So you, you see almost cloud-like forms of dancers with everyone facing different directions and kind of riffing on a similar theme. And then it gets very clear and goes back into more cloud-like. So order and disorder. So, I mean, that's just to give you an example. So. You know, it's it's sort of whatever whatever the preoccupation is that, that excites me that I need to discover. It's about curiosity. Yeah.